Hello, I'm author Stacy McAnulty. Happy World Read Aloud Day 2023. I am the author of over 30 books for kids, including the Our Universe series. There is a new book joining the Our Universe series this spring. It is titled Pluto, Not a Planet, Not a Problem. I thought I would share that book with you today, even though it's not even available in your library yet. So shall we take a look? Let's go. Pluto, Not a Planet, Not a Problem by Pluto with Stacey McAnulty, illustrated by Pluto and Stevie Lewis. Nice to meet you. The name is Pluto, and I'm a proud, playful, and popular non-planet. Think of me like a lovable family pet. Think of me like a loyal friend. Just don't think of me as a boring old planet. Planet schmanet, I say. Our solar system has eight planets. Mercury, the fast one. Venus, the hot one. Earth, the one with ice cream and books. Mars, the red one. Jupiter, the big one. Saturn, the one known for his rings. Uranus, the sideways one. Neptune, the last one. And then there's me, the tiny adorable one. But I'm not a planet. We were all born more than 4.5 billion years ago. We're basically from the same litter. I love my planet-filled family, but I've never felt like one of them. I'm special, the runt. Me, smaller than Mercury, even smaller than Earth's moon. Like Earth, Mars, and the others, I spin about my center. But I also spin with Sharon, my largest moon, where playmates circling each other. At least four other moons are part of my pack, too. I'm a pokey little non-planet taking 248 Earth years to trot around the sun. And my orbit is unique and not very planet-like. It's tilted. I'm round, a very popular and fetching look in our solar system. And check this out. I have a heart. This spot is called Tombo Regio. It's a humongous area of flat ice surrounded by mountains of ice. I'm frozen, but friendly. My average temperature is negative 387 degrees Fahrenheit. To find me, you have to back up. Back way up. If Earth were one step from Sun, I'd be 39 steps away from Sun. Ancient Earthlings gazed at the night skies but could never spot me, no matter how much I howled or yelped. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn can be seen with the naked eye. That means an eye without a telescope and an eye without underwear. And then, more than 240 years ago, in 1781, to be exact, humans used a telescope to discover Uranus. And 65 years later, in 1846, to be exact, they glimpsed Neptune. I had to wait and wait and wait. I was getting dog tired. Until... Best day ever! February 14th, 1930. Years of search add new planet to solar system. Cutest planet discovered. I was no longer a stray. Talk about puppy love. Earthlings adored me. They declared me the ninth planet. An 11-year-old girl from England suggested my name. I was doggone excited to be added to the family portrait. Over the years, humans set out to know me better. They used telescopes in space to snap pictures. Hello, Hubble. That's a good one. And eventually they sent a spacecraft to do a flyby. It took nine and a half years to reach me. Hello, New Horizon. Ooh, that's a really good one. Scientists needed 76 years to realize I wasn't like the original eight planets. They made official rules. A planet must orbit sun, be round, clear the neighborhood. 
clear the neighborhood. This means being big enough to scare away all the other objects in my path around the sun. But I'm too friendly and don't mind sharing my space. Astronomers came up with a new breed. Dwarf planet! And I wasn't alone. Eris and Ceres were named dwarf planets too. Years later, Make Make and Humea joined us. Someday, I bet there'll be even more of us non-planets. So remember, the name is Pluto. I'm not a planet, and that's not a problem. And at the end of the book, there's even more facts about um, our favorite adorable dwarf planet. The end. I hope you enjoyed an early reading of Pluto. I'm so excited for you to check this book out in the spring. So thanks for joining me on World Read Aloud Day. Um, and oh, check out the shirt. Pluto, it's complicated. Were it just for you. Um, so again, thanks for spending some time with me and happy World Read Aloud Day. Bye, friends.